If I want to win one of these amateur events, I have to have a plan, a good plan, because this isn't something that's gonna just happen by itself. So the plan, what is the plan? How am I going to win one of these events? Seriously, if I do want to win one of these events, there has to be a plan in place, and I think I have one. The plan? Well, the plan's simple. See, last year I played around 200 That's rounds excellent. of golf, which worked for me then, but now I need to change the priority. And with the new Golf Ireland rules, you've got to be doing the handicap counting rounds in competition. Instead of playing a lot, I'm going to be practicing a lot, working on technique, something that I'm doing right here now, and playing less, but trying to score better. I need to forget about my handicap and chasing some number on a screen and start trying to attack golf courses and win tournaments. So I have this three foot circle that I've made with tees around the hole, but it's not a drill. I'm just trying to gauge where my short game is at and judging from this morning is terrible. It's more technique based, so I'm trying to work on techniques in my short games and this is just to gauge where it's at. But it's a, it's a nice visual reference of how well I'm actually getting to the target. Now I really want to focus on quality. The rounds that I play, they have to be good. One thing that my coach Bernard said to me a while ago, he says, I want you, you play too much golf. I want you to be hungry to play golf. I want you to be dying to play golf. And I kind of understand that now. I haven't really played around the golf in a while. I've been practicing quite a bit. So I am very hungry for a game, but I want it to be a good game because usually there's another game coming straight after. So it's not, it doesn't really matter about the score too much. I can, I can just play the numbers. But now I want it to matter. So each week is going to break down like this. Three tournament rounds and three days of practice. One round is going to take place at the Heritage on a Thursday. It's an open competition and if you'd like to join me, the link is down below. One round is going to be on a Saturday at either NACE or the Heritage, depending on what competition is on, or possibly a scratch cup at a different golf club. And the third round, we're going to film for you guys so you can see how I'm getting on. The practice days are going to be broken up into different sections. So short game, wedges, range sessions, speed sessions, putting, iron play and general swing technique. And for fitness, there's going to be kickboxing, strength and conditioning training throughout the week. And this is my master plan to win an elite amateur event. It's foolproof. I'm working on controlling my club face. That's realistically what I'm working on with the short game shots here. Something that I struggle with a lot is dynamic loft. So at impact, I'm adding loft instead of taking loft away. And that's why it's not really a drill. It's it's getting a feel for D loft in the club and understanding what position I have to be in to do that. Like So like I'm not coming up, I'm not early extending. I have to stay down on the shots. It's, that's exactly what I'm working on right now. The next day I met up with Ryan for a practice day at the Heritage. He brought a new bag, which I was pretty jealous about. And once he proved to me that he could cycle, we played a few holes. And all that short game practice, it's starting to pay off. All right, guys, eighth hole here at the Heritage. Spectacular hole, it really is. I love this hole. Par five. It's playing it for me today, but not uh, not El Gribo. Oh, he's pure one right at the flag. Oh, <laughs> that's bloody close. <laughs> I thought that was going in for a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's how close we were to uh, a hold out albatross. Come on, <laughs> easy eagle. <laughs> All right, guys, we got to the ninth hole here. Uh, if you haven't, I'll show you now in a minute. But the ninth hole is honestly my favorite hole on the course. And uh, honestly, the ninth is my favorite hole in the course, but it's probably the most difficult hole. But uh, the good news is, I've hit every fairway of the line. Every fairway. That's, uh, that's pretty good. And after a duff drive, I put one <laughs> left edge of the green from a mile away. Just look at this. 
after you negotiate a really hard tee shot, you're left with this into the green. Unbelievable. It's worth it coming out here just for this hole alone. Probably one of the best par fours in the country. We also got a range session in, and the swing had actually started to feel good again. Okay, range session in the bag, and you know what, it was nice to strike the ball like that again. I'm just watching Ryan swing it like he doesn't swing it really high. His hands aren't up really high and he hits it actually a good distance. Like, so it's kind of. We'll watch him finish off the bucket of balls. But yeah, really encouraging songs there. Really happy the way it went. Let's get back in. All right, guys, we came back out to the back nine. We're on the tent here. And playing like we're doing now isn't, it's not for scoring purposes, it's, it's practice purpose. We tried to bring the rain session out here. But uh, yeah, it was a good start, but look, it's a work in progress. Let's get it. We're on the 12th. Toughest hole on the course, so they say. And for some reason I've decided I want to, I want to draw in my golf swing instead of a fade and uh, two snap hooks in a row. <laughs> Play with a fade, it's less destructive. That was a good shot out of there, if you heard the smack. <laughs> but seriously, uh, a fade is much easier to work with realistically on a golf course. I know a draw goes longer and stuff like that takes spin off, but it doesn't seem as playable for me on a golf course anyway. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? I tell you, this is some golf course. If you haven't played it, get down there. Definitely worth it. And now, you're pretty much up to date with everything going on. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.